Today on the Taste Spot TV's wine room, twin pomegranate sparkling wine from California. Pomegranates are a very, very interesting fruit. Either it's a fruit you grew up on and you love it, or it's one of those fruits that uh, you kind of discovered later in life, either through juice or something like that, and you started drinking it, and if you're like me, we're kind of like, I don't know if I like this all that much. And you kept drinking it and drinking it and going, oh, this is actually, you know, it's good for me. There's a lot of health benefits associated with it. And I'm actually kind of starting to really enjoy the flavor. That's how it was for me. I, I really I wasn't a huge fan of the flavor at first. It really grew on me. It's like coffee when you first start drinking it. You're like, eh. And then you start wanting it, start craving it. Sushi, a food that had the same effect with me. First, eh, now I crave it and, and I love it. Same thing with pomegranates. Twin pomegranate uh, sparkling wine is what we're gonna try today. And we tried one of their varietals, actually two of their varietals uh, on a different show. They just sent us their sparkling wine. Very excited about this. Now the pomegranate is a fruit uh, that is, is not uh, naturally grown in the United States. It's actually uh, native to uh, Persian countries, places like Iran and Afghanistan. That's where this uh, fruit originally comes from. Now in California, they actually have a big crop of it. They grow it uh, throughout the year, and, and now they're starting to use it, uh, obviously, in a lot of juices, but now the wine industry is starting to adopt wines around pomegranates as well, and this is the only known 100% pomegranate sparkling wine uh, to exist, as far as we know, and as far as the folks over at Twin Pomegranates know, knows it well. Uh, the, the guys over there are two brothers, that's why it's called Twin Pomegranates, been farmers most of their lives, and they started developing this wine a couple years back, and that's what we got here today. So let's pop this bottle open and stop talking about the history of pomegranates. Well, it's kind of interesting. I'm trying to add a little more history, a little more depth to our wine shows other than just drinking it. Because it's kind of fun sometimes when you have a glass of wine to know where it came from, what the history is behind it. A little more enjoyable. At least it is for me, and I hope maybe it is for you guys too. So let's pop this open. It's just like a, uh, a champagne bottle, and I mean very careful because I don't want this to go flying in our kitchen. <laughs> break a bunch of glasses that are right off camera over here. So here we go. Got uh, the bubbles coming up on top. Let's do a little pour. And like I said, this is 100% pomegranate wine. It's not a mixture of, of like white wine or Chardonnay or Pinot Grigio or anything like that. 100% pomegranate wine. And this thing seems to be a little bit sweeter than their other varietal. Another interesting thing about pomegranates, Depending on where they're from in the world, just like grapes, they're going to have different characteristics to them. So a pomegranate that's, say, grown uh, in Afghanistan is not going to taste exactly like a pomegranate grown in California. Each have different characteristics. My personal taste on this is a lot of the, uh, the pomegranates from the Persian countries, I think, kind of have a more of a, a spicier taste in them, if you will. A little more, uh, a little more depth, if you will. Uh, and it's probably just because of the growing regions and what's, what they've been surrounded with. They are technically old vine, if you will. They're grown on trees, but chances are a lot of the trees over there that are growing them are significantly older than the ones in California. The California pomegranates, for the most part, in my opinion, a little bit sweeter, a little more sugar content, if you will. But I kind of like that with a pomegranate. I like my fruits to have be, be more on the... Uh, I guess, uh, sweeter side or fruit forward side and not so heavy on, uh, you know, spices, if you will. So let's take a little taste of the wine here. Right away, it has a nice nose to it. Really almost a little bit perfumey, if you will. Um, you get that pomegranate immediately and almost uh, like kind of like bark, you know, almost like, like orchard bark. Yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, let's take a taste. Also, honey, lavender, very outdoorsy feel to this wine. Um, it, and it's not extremely bubbly, which is cool with me. You know, it's not, uh, you know, you, you see it's not like popping the head here like, like a, a regular uh, sparkler that you would get. Your Osties, your Corbels of the world, N nothing like that. It has a, a little more bubbliness to it. They're very small bubbles, but uh, it is a lot less than a lot of other sparklers out there. It has that very nice, uh, authentic pomegranate taste to it. 
a lot of uh, pomegranate drinks out there right now, like palm teenies, palm this, palm that. It's they're so syrupy, and they're they're so they lose so much of that consistency and that pomegranate flavor. If you're looking for that uh, through the the sugar process and all the other crap that they put into some of those alcohols, uh, it loses a lot of the pomegranate flavor. This one really kind of maintains that uh, that significant almost off, I want to say, pomegranate taste. I, I, I don't know how to describe a pomegranate other than pomegranate -y. You know what I'm talking about? It's, it's, it's very unique, specific taste where it's like fruit and then kind of off a little bit. And I, I don't know any other way to describe it. Not bitter. I want to say almost umami. Probably that would be the, the word. It, it's kind of, it, it's a savory sensation that only pomegranate has, and this maintains that. And you know it's not, it's not crazy sweet either. So, if you're someone who's, uh, you know, you're a, a real, you know, a wine drinker of of, of in-depth wines, you know, big big reds and things like that, you may actually appreciate this as well. It's not crazy sweet like a lot of other fruit-based wines. I'm not a big fan of other fruit-based wines. This is like one of the only ones I actually do. Uh, enjoy. So check it out. It's Twin Pomegranate Sparkling Wine out of California. I want to thank the guys over there for sending us a couple bottles to check out here on the Taste Spot TV's Wine Room.